Get it. Oh, I can't be Get okay. it. Go. 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 Uh, go. Hi, guys. And welcome back to another video um, with Early Learning with Zora and Mommy. I am Mommy or Crystal, and this is. Zora, this is Zora Kylie, and we are here. It is February, and guess what? We want to celebrate and talk about or discuss Black History Month. So come on in, join us. We have a great book that we'd like to share that you would love to share or should share with your little one, <laughs> and a quick craft that your little ones will enjoy all while they're learning about these amazingly dope African Americans. All right, so if you are ready, come on in, join us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any of our Bye. videos. Right, Zoe? Right! Tell the people, let's go. books I love all things that are books especially especially books for little ones I love to read the Zora that is one of my favorite things to do with her is one of her favorite things to do with me and so I love to find different things that will keep her attention or engage her in learning and teach her about things and people that look like her so I thought that this was the cutest little book and it is called follow your dreams little one um they, this is the version that has males in it but zora also owns the copy that has females in it it is the cutest little book i love the um illustration the illustrations and it is by vashti harrison i hope i hope i'm saying it um if i'm not charge it to my head and not my heart but this is the cutest a little book don't you see guys so i want to share this with you and this is a great book to use as you're trying to introduce african-american history to your children um it is right at their level easy reading i think it's cute so let's get into it all right follow your dreams little one by vashti harrison like always you want to read from top to bottom left to right you can help your little one um, learn how to read and the way in which to read by following along with your finger. Follow your dreams, little one. There's so much good you can do. Just look at all the legends who came before you. Raise your voice like Langston, James, and Andre. Langston Hughes wrote poems about black pride. James Baldwin spoke in a way that made people want to listen. Andre Leon Talley showed that grace and kindness are always in style. Look at that robe. It's bad, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Cutest little illustration. Use your art like Aaron, Gordon, and David. Aaron Douglas made paintings for and about black people. Gordon Parks focused his camera on troubles in America. Sir David Ajay designed buildings inspired by people and culture. Reach new heights like Alvin, Arthur, Bill, John, and Leland. Alvin Ailey danced all around the world. Author Ash proved that even a quiet person can be a big voice for change. Bill Russell always tried to be the best teammate he could be. We talk about art and sports. John Robinson taught black pilots how to fly. Leland Melvin worked hard enough to travel into space. Make a difference like Garrett, Arturo, and Charles. Garrett Morgan was an inventor and a hero. 
Arturo Schomburg collected stories of Africans around the world. Charles R. Drew had an idea that saved a lot of lives. Stand up for what's right like Harry, Bass, Frederick, and Thurgood. Harry Belafonte, that's one of my mama's favorites, led the way for so many as a musician, actor, and activist. Bass Reeves was a lawman who protected good guys and animals alike. Frederick Douglass wrote his story and spoke up for those who couldn't. Thurgood Marshall fought for equal rights as a lawyer and judge. Wherever you go, whatever you see, reach for the stars and always be the best that you can be. The end. Now, wasn't that a cute book? I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoy it and as much as Zora enjoys it and as much as we enjoy reading it together. Hey, all right, guys. So, we have a quick craft for you that we would love to share with you. Right, Zora? Right. So, we want to make sure that we are sharing all things black history with our children. Black history or African American history is all of our history. And kids, there's no age that is too young for kids to begin learning. Zora's too, and we're already talking about different African Americans and their contributions to us. Okay? So, Today we are talking about, or discussing, Garrett A. Morgan. Zora, can you say Garrett A. Morgan? Garrett A. Morgan. Isn't that bomb? Do you know what we're making? What's this? This is a color. This is a color, but what is this? This is a color. Say stoplight. Stoplight. And do you know why we're making a stoplight? Mm -hmm. You know why we're making a stoplight? Yeah. Why are we making a stoplight? I gotta open it up like that. Absolutely, because Gary A. Morgan <laughs> invented the stoplight. So, Zora is gonna get started on our stoplight, and we're gonna share, you know, just a few more tidbits about Gary A. Morgan. You ready to get started, Zora? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> we're working on covering our mouth. Don't judge us. Okay, you ready? I'm ready! All right. Zora has already started to work on her craft. She is killing the game with this glue. And so while she's doing that, I'm gonna tell you what materi materials we use. So, of course, we have construction paper. My favorite. My paper, Ruby? Yes. So, we <laughs> are using black, red, yellow, and green construction paper. Scissors to cut out the shapes. Yeah. And a glue stick. A stoplight. Good job. And a glue stick to glue our shapes down. So, like always, we want to make sure that we are finding the educational point in all of our crafts. So, we want to go over the shapes that the, the children are using, that rectangle for the long piece or the backing of the stoplight, and the circles for the actual lights, as well as the colors in them. If you want to count, that's great too. Zora is starting. She has already started. We're gonna flip this over, okay? She's trying to glue it down. This way, mommy. This way. No more glue. Not on that one. You got plenty of it on that one. But you gotta push it down. Where do you wanna put it at? Put, let me hold that. Push this down on your paper, on your rectangle. You gotta push it down. There you go. All right, next. That is a red circle. Say red. Red. Circle. Red circle. Good job. Now we're gonna put glue on the yellow circle. Say yellow. Yellow. Circle. Yellow circle. And she's gonna work it out with that glue. Um, fun fact that you may not have already known about Garrett A. Morgan. Garrett A. Morgan's parents were actually slaves. I did not know that. I learned that on today. Guess what? I'm 37 years old. I, don't, I didn't remember that part, but his parents were slaves. Um, he was actually born March 4th, 1877, and he died at the age of 86. So he lived a pretty good life, I think so. All right, Zora is, you gotta flip it over, mama. Pick it up. 
Got it? You sure? <laughs> there you go. Yellow circle. Yellow Got it? Circle. And we're gonna glue down our green circle. Say green circle, Zora. Green circle. Good job. Listen, my baby is, is a killer. She's a beast with this glue. Got it? You flip it over. Push it down. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is beautiful. Good job, mommy. What did you make? I made a craft. You made a craft? <laughs> what kind of craft is it? What did you make? I made a circle. Stop. It is a circle. Good job. You made a stoplight? Stoplight. Stoplight. And the inventor of the stoplight is Garrett A. Morgan. Can you say Garrett A. Morgan? Garrett A. Morgan. Killing it. That's right. Good job, Zora. So here's the quick craft. And this is what it looks like. Or this is what Zora's looks like. You did a great job. Do you like mine? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's going to put glue on mine as well. And that's perfectly fine. But this is a cute, quick craft that you can do with your children to talk and teach them about Gary and Morgan. I hope you guys like it. If you do, make sure you drop the comments below and tell us how this activity worked out with you and your little one.